Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode where today this is episode 6 of the series. <laughs> game against AZ, we're going to be playing uh, a game away in the Premier League against Newcastle and also a very important game at home against Liverpool. Right now we are 7th in the Premier League uh, and yeah hopefully a few wins today will get us to a higher place in the league. So yeah guys let's get straight into our first game against AZ in the Europa League. We're already first in our group and let's hope we perform well in this game. So um, yeah, today guys we are rotating a lot of the team in this game against AZ. Mason Greenwood starts, Andreas Pereira and James Madison start as my two cams. Rodrigo, McTominay and Daniel James start. And then Williams, Maguire, Tuanzebe and Diogo Dallo in defence and David De Gea in goal. Even though we're playing with our substitutes team, this is still a very strong lineup, and I think we have a good chance of winning this game. And uh, yeah, this is the start of the game against AZ. Now it's Rodrigo on the right flank. Rodrigo with a good run. Rodrigo cuts it inside. Oh, but just loses the ball there. But McTominay gets it back into Daniel James. Daniel James with a nice run inside. Nice run into Rodrigo. Rodrigo scores. And it is the first goal for Manchester United in this game. Rodrigo scoring against AZ in the Europa League. Let's go, guys. It's 1-0 against AZ. Now it's Rodrigo on the right flank again. Almost can play it into Greenwood, but the defender just gets it back. Oh no, now it's AZ here on the attack. David De Gea saves, but on the rebound they score. That was such a dumb goal to concede, man. Now it's Rodrigo. Rodrigo's in. Now it's Rodrigo. How did he miss that? How do you miss that? I got into the perfect... Oh! So it is a corner. Oh, okay. Took a deflection. Okay, I thought it didn't. Now it's Diogo Dallo. On that right side. He's running. Now it's James Madison. James Madison. The defense just cut out every attack we make. And that is half time. 1-1 one, one against AZ here. We need to improve in the second half. The one change I'm making in this game is I'm bringing on Martial for Mason Greenwood because Mason Greenwood ha didn't really impress me in this game. Oh no. How'd AC score? What? Look at that, man. What was Maguire doing? I cleared that. What was Maguire doing there? Oh my god. Now I realize how important Lindelof actually is to our defense. The next change I'm making is I'm bringing on Jaden Sancho for Rodrigo. Because we need to bring in the big guns now. Now it's Jaden Sancho coming in from the left. Can he do something from here? Misses, shoots again, and oh my. Jaden Sancho's literally just come on and he's missed. Such a nice chance. Oh wow, man. I was so close. The goalkeeper just saved it. And that is full time, guys. A disappointing performance against AZ. That was disappointing, man. We could have done so much better. We could have actually won the game. If Sancho and Anthony Washia actually put away those chances. But I realized how bad our... Uh, I realized how bad our defense actually is when we play with our substitutes team. And Maguire just made that silly mistake for the second goal. Uh, hopefully our performance against Newcastle and Liverpool is better. Post-match interview. Would giving Fernandez a chance to play help the team win today? Probably. I'm just going to say I'm fully responsible. Well, disappointing result today. What went wrong in your opinion? I'm just going to say we were just unlucky. After they got ahead in the second half, Manchester United like, could not pull level. What's your take on the turn of events? So we played well, but it was not enough. And now we're going to get straight into our second game against Newcastle United. And I'm going with my strongest lineup for this game. Martial, Bruno Fernandes, James Madison, Jaden Sancho, Paul Pogba, Rashford, Lou Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof, Juan Bissaka, and David De Gea. It's a strong lineup. And I think we can get the win here. Let's go. 
And now this is the start of the game against Newcastle. Now it's Jaden Sancho. We all know he has pace. Look at that pace from Jaden Sancho. Plays it into Martial, but the defense just gets it away just in time. That was close. Now it's Aaron Wan-Bissaka. On the right-hand side, Newcastle have got all their players back in defense. Now it's James Madison tries a shot, but Dubravka with an easy save. And that is half time. This game has been so boring. It's still nil nil. Hopefully we can do a better performance in the second half because literally this game has had no chances. Now it's James Madison to Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba still trying to find an opening. James Madison cuts inside really well, plays it into Anthony Martial, but the defense get it away. Missed opportunity. Now it's Bruno Fernandez. Can Bruno Fernandes do something from here? Oh, that was the first good chance of the game. That was actually the first good chance of the game from Bruno Fernandes. Can Madison do something from the corner? It comes to Jaden Sancho, but it was a bad shot. That was Bruno Fernandes, and it is a goal. What a finish it was from Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes puts us in the lead against Newcastle in the 66th minute. This game has been so dull and boring, but Bruno Fernandes finally opens up the game. That was Bruno Fernandes again. So I played into James Madison, but the defense do get it away. Oh no, James Madison was offside, never mind. Now it's Marcus Rashford. Can he bring it inside? He does. Brings it inside well, but the defense block it again. Now it is Sancho steaming forward. Plays it into James Madison. Still Sancho. Plays it into Bruno Fernandes. I don't think he's offside. He's onside. He was onside. I think he was onside. Oh, no, he wasn't. He was just offside. I am bringing on now Daniel James for Marcus Rashford. And that is full time. A boring and dull game, but we managed to get the win against Newcastle. 1-0. And let's get into the post-match interview. We managed to win a close match with a decisive goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? I'm just going to say we were, but we were the better team. We managed to turn the tide and find a decisive goal, given there wasn't much to split the two sides leading up. Did you have any doubts you'd come away with the win? I said, um, I trusted we'd give it our all. Lee Jun was one of the best players of the opposition today. How difficult uh, was it to find his way past Newcastle's defensive lineup? I'm just gonna say we just played our game. I've got a player attack from Pogba. Boss, I can't lie, I was worried you had plans to replace me. I just felt a bit threatened by the new faces that have arrived at the club, coupled with the stories I read in the press. Thanks for straightening things out. I'm gonna say I expect great performances. Just finished training a few different players. And uh, yeah, now we have a game against Liverpool. Just before the game against Liverpool, I just want to say we have actually gone up to 4th place in the league table from that one win. 16 points in the league, we are now in the top 4. And uh, yeah, we need to actually beat Liverpool, which are on an unbeaten run, to uh, actually stay in the top 4. So um, yeah, this is going to be a fun game. We've got a new scouting report. And let's see if we can find anyone good enough. There's this guy, Max Carter, who I'm going to sign to my Youth Academy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is our Youth Academy so far. Patrick Davis, 77 to 94 potential. Taylor Davies, 74 to 94. Max Carter, 74 to 94. And this guy, Jay Price, 70 to 90. Press conference. Your recent form has put you in a good position to qualify for the Champions League next season. Do you have enough depth in your squad to maintain your momentum? I'm just going to say it's our responsibility to try. You're you're only up by one goal in the previous match. Looking into perspective, what do you think of that goal considering you're about to play against Liverpool? That close call motivates us. Your side has had a bit a mixed a bit of a mixed bag in terms of results recently. As a manager, how have you reacted to this seemingly erratic patch of form? I'm just gonna say my players will improve soon. Now we're on to our next game against Liverpool. We need to get revenge on them for knocking us out of the Carabao Cup on penalties. And I'm going with my strongest lineup for this game. Everyone is on full fitness. This should be a fun game and we should win this game. Also, I have realized that I actually have Rashford as my captain. I'm going to change that to Harry Maguire. And now this is the start of the game against Liverpool. 
This should be a very entertaining game. Now Luke Shaw has tons of green space on that left flank. Crosses it in, but Allison with a save. That was our first chance of the game. Now it is Jaden Sancho running at the Liverpool defence with pace. Andrew Robertson just clears that out. Now it's Mo Salah on that right hand side. This is dangerous, but Lindelof clears it very, very well. What a ball it is to Bruno Fernandes. Can Bruno Fernandes convert from this amazing chance? Bruno Fernandes scores against Liverpool. Let's go, guys. We have scored against Liverpool. Bruno Fernandes scores again. A very, very similar goal which he scored too against Newcastle. And we should use Bruno Fernandes much more, man, in the most important games. He has been so crucial to us this whole season. Now it's James Madison going at the Liverpool attack. Just gets tackled in the last second. We could have scored a second goal there against Liverpool. Sadio Mane crosses it in, but De Gea saves that really well. Rashford makes a defensive mistake, but De Gea saves that so well. And now we can start attacking again. With a lovely ball into Bruno Fernandes. Once again, Bruno Fernandes on the attack. Gets past Van Dijk. Now it's Jadon Sancho gets tackled and it is a free kick to Bruno Fernandes. Can Bruno Fernandes convert from this amazing free kick? And again, he just hits that with so little power, but why? It's a nice ball to Bruno Fernandes and now Bruno Fernandes is on the break. Bruno Fernandes touches that well. Bruno Fernandes scores a brace in this game against Liverpool. He does not care who the opposition is. He will perform against anyone. Touches that really well. Almost loses it there, but still composure to score that amazing finish. What a goal it was. What a goal. And now it's 2-0 against Liverpool. And that is half time. We are winning 2-0 against Liverpool in this half. Hopefully we can win this whole game and remove Liverpool's unbeaten run. And now this is the start of the second half of the game. Now it's James Madison on the right hand side. Does beautifully there. Crosses it in into Bruno Fernandes. Oh my, he almost got his hat-trick there. And it is a corner. James Madison crosses it in to Bruno Fernandes. The defense get it away. Jaden Sancho, but what was that Sancho? Now it's James Madison. Brings it into Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho tries it but just misses it there. James Madison gets it back. It's into Anthony Martial and it's the third goal of the game against Liverpool. A defensive mistake from Van Dijk. I don't know if that's ever been said before. A defensive mistake from Van Dijk. And Man United are winning 3-0 against Liverpool. We lose to AZ. We barely beat Newcastle and then we destroy Liverpool. Classic Manchester United. Now Jadon Sancho has tons of green space to run into. Can Jadon Sancho convert from this attack? It hits the crossbar. Rashford just misses that. Rashford again misses. How did Jadon Sancho not score that man? And that is full time guys. 3-0 against Liverpool. Destruction. We have ended Liverpool's unbeaten run. And what a game it was. What a game and what a performance. Interview time. Martial's continuing his run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance today? He deserves all praise. With two goals to secure in, Fernandez was the hero today. Any thoughts? I'm just gonna say an impressive performance from Fernandez. You dealt a strong blow to your rival today. Did you prepare differently from this match? I'm just gonna say we were primed and ready. Eric Bailly sends us a message. I need to play more often. The amount of matches I get to play in at the moment isn't good for my career, I'm gonna say you still have your place in the squad. That win against Liverpool keeps us in the top four in the Premier League. Six wins, one draw and two losses in this game. We've got 19 points from the first nine games. And yeah, I'm just happy we're in the top four. Next episode, you're going to see these two games being played. We have a group stage game against Brest in the Europa League and also against Norwich City. And you might also see this game against Bournemouth. So yeah, that is going to be the end of the video there, guys. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Classic Manchester United, man. Losing to AZ, barely beating Newcastle, and then destroying Liverpool. Classic Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Man United. Oh,